have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Now we're gonna talk about what happened if there is an incorrect charge. So let's say someone charged your credit cards for five hundred dollar, three hundred dollars, or euros. Doesn't matter. What can you do? So let's change it. So as you can see here, this is a letter to the company. Yeah. And I'm going to explain how it works. So this is a letter to the company and I'm going to give explain how it works. So let's say you buy something online or you buy something or you give someone the access to charge your credit card and they charge you let's say $90 well the thing that you bought is $75 huge difference the amount doesn't matter really but they charge you wrong so they charge you this well they need to charge you this right so this is the company this is you you look at your statement and on the statement you see this it's on the statement but this should be on the statement you can send the company a letter it depends what kind of company it is and it also depends how you give them access to charge your credit card that's also important you can give them like on a website but you can also give them access in real life so watch out for that so you can send them a letter and ask them to correct this so for 90 to 75 dollars this is the situation your situation can be different but if you have question about it just go on a discord and you ask me directly how can you get to the discord just press this link in the description and go to law center and in discord you can ask me question about it so how does letter look like simple you have a letter if you send an email you don't need to put a date but i recommend you to send a letter so you have the date you put account number name on account it depends on the website if you bought it online you have account number or your name on your account you will have that and then you can tell them this in reviewing my recent statement, I feel that I have been charged an incorrect or unauthorized amount for the following transaction. Situation. Let's say you buy something, they charge you this, you need, they need to charge you that. So, and then you fill that here. The correct charge should have been 75. You put it in here. Four. And here for an incorrect charge. Yeah, the correct and on the on incorrect yeah you fill it in here and they say please to correct my account accordingly and then you put the rest of it and it should be fine make sure you send a copy of the statement if you are at a credit card company you can download the statement as a PDF and you can put it with this letter or if you are sending an email you can just download the PDF send it as an attachment so you write an email send it as a pdf as an attachment or you can send an email and send the letter and the pdf as an attachment one document so you have different kind of ways how you can inform the credit card company so when you set a way you can inform this company not the credit card company so when you send the letter, you can send it as an email and the statement as PDF, or you can send it the email, the letter as a PDF with the statement as a PDF. So those two together, and you can send that as an email. Yeah. So that's technically how it works. If you have question about this, just press this link and go on the Discord here and ask me directly and if you want this letter this markdown 
just go on this website and soon you will see it here on post with this title incorrect charge how you should deal with it and then you can download the mac down just remember if you're a supporter you can buy me coffee and you can download it for free if you have question about this just go on discord and ask me directly i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen with